Hello, I'm Sean Patrick O'Neill, and along with my co-authors, I thank you for watching this video abstract for our paper, Robustness of Energy Landscape Control to Dephasing. Our motivation for this investigation was to determine whether the interaction of a quantum system with the environment induces classical behavior in a controlled theoretic sense. In particular, for state transfer control problems and spin rings, does the introduction of dephasing affect the non-conventional absence of trade-off between performance and robustness that we observed in earlier work, bringing the results more in line with the classical limitations of feedback control? To accomplish this, we introduced dephasing in the Hamiltonian basis as a perturbation to the nominal state transfer dynamics. Specifically, we modify the Louisville equation for coherent dynamics with a Lindblad term, modulated by a perturbation strength, delta. For our performance metric, we use the fidelity error, written here after vectorizing the dynamical equations by expansion in an orthonormal basis of Hermitian matrices. As for our robustness measure, we use two independently calculated versions of the logarithmic sensitivity. The first is an analytic calculation using a normalized version of the differential sensitivity, and the other is a computational approach based on sampling of the space of perturbations and a numerical differentiation of the resulting mean fidelity error curve. In terms of our results, we note three main points. First, the introduction of dephasing results in adherence to the performance robustness trade-off expected from classical feedback control in all of the test cases. This chart is indicative of this observation, where we see the fidelity error with the red line and the log sensitivity, the blue and the black dotted lines, trending in opposite directions. Second, we know that the two methods of calculating log sensitivity, one analytic and the other stochastic, are in near perfect agreement. We see this in this chart where the blue line, which is the analytic calculation of the log sensitivity, and the dotted black line, the Monte Carlo based approach to the calculation, both near lightly on top of each other. This provides options to the practitioner in leveraging the most efficient method for the task at hand. The final thing that we note is that although the overall trend suggests a trade-off between performance and robustness, as in, seen in this chart, cases do exist where controllers with similar fidelity error show a wide range of log sensitivity. This suggests that despite the trade-off, controllers with simultaneously acceptable robustness and performance characteristics do exist. Thank you for your time, and we hope that you enjoy the paper.